Applying the H-MATIC transmission system, sports mode can be used. Sub-ROM unit is installed at valve body so that the shifting control can be optimized. The inhibitor switch is applied with the sliding type, not the rotary type. Therefore, TCM directly controls the starter relay and the backup lamp relay. Variable force solenoid valve is applied to control the full line pressure variably. Valve body has accumulators. Two NR accumulators are installed at the lower valve body and one ND accumulator is installed at the upper valve body. There are seven solenoid valves. There are six VFS solenoids and one on-off solenoid. The transmission oil is red one, of which replacing period is same with conventional one. In the torque converter, a damper clutch is installed. To cope with a higher torque from the engine, a multiple disc type damper clutch is applied. Let's see appearance of transmission case. There is an adjusting screw. This is for adjusting the band gap of the front brake. The adjusting screw is adjusted exactly at the production line. After that, it is fixed by lock tight when it is supplied. At the transmission housing, there is a hydraulic port for measuring the hydraulic pressure. At the rear side of transmission, there are the direct clutch hydraulic pressure measuring plug and the low-cost brake and forward brake hydraulic pressure measuring plug. At the right side, there is the front brake hydraulic pressure measuring plug. The inhibitor switch detects the shift lever position by the combination of on-off signals of five terminals in the switch using sliding operation. You can see that according to the position of the shift lever, the inhibitor switch is changed in on and off. There are five hydraulic switches installed at the valve body. They are attached to the front brake, low cost brake input clutch, direct clutch, and high and low reverse clutch. You can see that the hydraulic switch is turned to on when the hydraulic force is applied to the operating element at each shift range. The turbine speed sensor 1 and 2 is the Hall IC type. At valve body, two sensors are installed as one unit. One is the turbine speed sensor one for detecting the RPM of the front brake drum. The other, turbine speed sensor two, is for detecting the RPM of the rear analysis gear. The reason why there are two turbine speed sensors is that the RPM of the input shaft cannot be directly detected by the structure of transmission. The output shaft speed sensor detects the RPM of the output shaft. For the sensor output, you can see that the turbine speed sensor 1 is output just at 4th gear because the front brake is released at the 4th gear. There are two NTC type thermistors for the oil temperature sensor. The oil temperature sensor 1 is installed at the inhibitor switch for measuring the temperature inside of the oil pan. The oil temperature sensor 2 is installed at the upper body of the valve body and used for detecting oil temperature at torque converter outlet and for controlling the shifting patterns at high temperature of oil. Let's see the sensor output of the scanner. The temperature of oil temperature sensor 2 is higher than that of oil temperature sensor 1. The VFS solenoid valve has two types, including normal high and normal low. The normal high is the type in which hydraulic pressure is formed when electric current is not applied. There are direct clutch solenoid 
input clutch solenoid and high and low reverse clutch solenoid. The coil resistance is about 6.1 plus or minus 0.5 ohm. The normal low is the type in which hydraulic pressure is formed when electric current is applied. There are line pressure solenoid, lockup clutch solenoid, and front brake solenoid. The coil resistance is 6.1 plus or minus 0.5 ohm like the normal high. The solenoid valve for on-off control is the low-cost brake solenoid valve having 12.9 plus or minus 0.6 ohm of coil resistance. TCM controls the start relay and backup lamp relay directly. You can check if the backup lamp relay is normally operating through the actuator test. The operation of the shift lever position output can be checked by actuator test.